This is how you can make this chrome text effect inspired from Charlie here in Photoshop. I'm gonna go with this artboard size. Let's paint the background black. Let's go and select the type tool, type in something. Press Ctrl T, press Ctrl Shift plus Alt, scale it up. By the way, I went with the silver mist italic font. We also gonna need to recolor the font. So let's go to the color, click on it. Let's go to the B, let's type in 50%. So it's gonna be 50% gray. Now let's go and double click on the text layer. Open up the layer styles and here we're going to check the bevel and emboss. And I'm going to go with these settings, inner bevel smooth, depth 1000, size 28, softness 0, angle 70, 42. And highlight mode and shadow mode is pretty much on 50% both. Let's click OK. And now press Ctrl G to group the font. You're going to need to group the font, otherwise the effect it won't work. Now let's go and create a new layer. I'm going to rename it as gradient. This is going to be the text. Click on the gradient layer and let's select the gradient. Make sure that it's on black and white. And I'm going to go from here, drag it upwards, press and hold shift. Let's go to blend mode, change it to overlay. And now let's go and add gradient map. Click on it. Let's go and click on the gradient line and I'm going to go and select and change the color. As you can see, it's pure grayscale right now, but we're going to go and click on the H. So now it's RGB, but this is going to be black anyway. Click OK. And I'm going to go and add here another handle. Click on it. And this is going to be some bluish. Click OK and click OK. Now let's go to the layers and select the layer with the first gradient. Now let's go to the adjustments here, scroll up and I'm going to go and select the curves. And here I'm going to go pull this one here and then I'm going to go and add another anchor point on the line and drag it downwards, add another anchor point and drag it upwards. I'm going to go do the same thing until it's going to get funky. And now at least I'm going to add one more here and just pull it something like this. And I think it looks pretty sick, but if you zoom in, you can see this anti-aliasing going on. So we're going to go to the text layer, open it up, select the Panther text, press and hold Alt, drag it upwards above everything. And I'm going to go and select the bevel and emboss, drag it to the bin. Now let's go and double click on the top text, go to the fill opacity, bring it down to zero. Let's go and activate the stroke, make sure to go with a black color, click OK. And the position should be in the center and I increase it with two. Click OK. And that's how you make this sick chrome effect here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.